Alola. What's up, dudes? Hello there. I'm just uh, finishing up some food real quick. And then I'll be ready to go. Thank you all for hanging out. If you want to do me a big favor and smash that like button. That would be awesome. Even like commenting on the stream. Or like any videos really helps. Push that out there you know. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> My bad. Welcome. How's it going, Red? How's it going, Chad? Nice to see you. Welcome, everyone.
You know, I, I always thought that was like a me thing, and it turns out a lot of people do that. A lot of people will totally start their stream. You did and not know until uh, the kind people like you reveal the truth. I'm doing pretty good. I am actually doing pretty good. Um, yesterday, my local game shop um, called me and offered me Sapphire for $80, which is a lot, but they usually sell it for $125. Um, I didn't go pick it up because, like, I can't justify it right now. But, dude, I so badly wanted to. That would have been my fourth copy of Sapphire. And, like, yeah, no, that would have been actually pretty nice. But uh, I'm still on their call list if they get something else. I, I really want silver right now. So uh, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. I'm about to watch Fallout, though, dude. 80 is still expensive. It is. But, like, man, it sucks as much as it sucks, like, with it, with everything and it, the extortion of it all. But, like, it's not going to go back down. You know, it's only going to get higher. So, like, 80 is better than 125, you know, as much as it sucks. I'll take the $45 off, dude, like, straight up. But I, I have other priorities right now that I have to do. You know, I got, like, bills I got to pay, people I got to pay. So, can't really justify just dropping $80 on, on a game, regardless of what it's being going to be used for, you know? Let's hope for, uh, let's hope for a quick Scyther, right? Like... Because, I mean, 181, we still have so far until we hit odds. And, like, I have not been able to shiny up very much this year. Soon, hopefully. Just you wait. Building my credit. Gonna get a bigger house. Gonna rent out the house I have. And then uh I'll be able to stream a lot more frequently. Man, dude. Ooh, here we go. First Sega stream. Oh, first Sega she's really blue. Dog bow. Dang on. Side the man. Dang on. Yo 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 yo. However, uh, I found out with with my hyperkin, um, the thing I'm not the GameCube thing I'm using, but um, the other devices I'm using to stream my Game Boy games. I found out I may be able to like, essentially create a save state on the hyperkin, so I can kind of like emulate the save file, and then continue to play it on the hyperkin while I take my. Um, cartridges out and I'm able to play them in my like spare time um, and that'll actually be really exciting um, especially like I want to do things with the Game Boy operator and then I can like I, I just got a micro SD card reader um, recently so I'll be able to like make copies of all the save files and like no I'm actually looking forward to things uh because, like, hopefully here pretty soon I'm going to be doing, like, four times hunts for uh, mythicals and stuff like Jirachi and Mew. And even if I'm only able to, like, single hunt it, uh, I'm, I'm very excited. A lot of people have been able to do that lately. I feel like it's become a much more common hunt. But <coughs> <coughs> I so badly want to hunt them. 
Like, that sounds like such a good time. Ooh, another one. That was fast. Dude, it, when it comes out dark green and freaking red, I'm going to lose my mind. Or pink, I guess, not red. It's, it's much more pink than it is red. Dude is oh man. I'm watching Fallout and I'm I'm loving I'm loving it so far. Just a lot of yellow and blue, like especially like the, the original cowboy outfits. Hey for it, nice to see you. The cowboy outfits definitely uh, are literally just look like the bolt suits, but it's kinda cool. Oh, dude, that's a freaking dude from Ant-Man. Not the, not like any of the protagonists, but the antagonists from Ant-Man 2. One of them. Yeah. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm very, in, I'm very much enjoying, like, even just the setup. It definitely feels like they're kind of setting up the series in a way um, for people who might not be familiar with the series. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, it's on Amazon Prime Video. I, I kind of wanted to do a watch through in the. Uh, um, Wait, I thought Flame Body worked in Ruby and Sapphire, too. And I'd rat no, I'd, I'm good. I'd rather hunt Ruby and Sapphire than I would Emerald, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it works in Ruby and Sapphire as well. Yeah, my Slugma does have fine body. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it. You know. I'm I will pass, but thanks. Thanks for the advice. Wait, ZA? If you want to know my opinions on the Pokemon ZA, uh, what is it? Exclamation direct, I think I, I did. Appreciate you all for chilling. Do me a favor and smash that like button and share the stream with people. Maybe check out some of my previous reactions and comment. That would be that would be pretty cool. Whoa. Wee. Next year, I definitely will have uh, multiple uh, hunts set up for Egg Month instead of just the Scyther. Oh, this is awesome.
Oh man. Oh my gosh. There are good actors in this. Dude, there's there's a lot of comedians in this. There's a lot of comedians in this. This is trippy. There, there are actors in this that I definitely would not expect. Oh, oh dude. Yeah, watch Fallout. <laughs> Any any comment I make from this point on, I will I will be sure to not spoil anything. Just uh, I love this. I like especially like I knew very little going into this other than it was a Fallout series. And it definitely I'm I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying the setup. Whoa, jokes. <laughs> oh, dude, New Vegas is good. New Vegas is super good. Actually, so uh, I got into Fallout probably like five or six years ago. And... Um, I'd always wanted to, you know, because I it, I played Skyrim and like a bunch of open world games and, and Morrowind and shit that were just so similar, but in a fantasy setting instead of sci-fi. And I was like, yeah, like I freaking love sci-fi. And uh, a couple of my friends did like a Fallout uh, themed Dungeons and Dragons campaign. And while I didn't play with them, I heard a lot about it and just like. I was like, whoa, that's really cool. And they were like, yeah, no, that's like, it's all kind of directly from the games, like story-wise. And I was like, I gotta play these green games. And I started with New, Get New Vegas and then worked my way kind of like backwards to forwards from there. And I very much enjoyed it. I didn't play 76, but my adopted mom, Marie, dude, she goes hard on 76. Like, it's so funny. She She's a pretty big gamer. And, uh... Her her two games that I've seen her play the most when I go over there are uh, Conan Exiles and Fallout 76. I never got into 76, but I wanted to. A couple of my friends were pretty much like, don't do it. Yeah, see, uh, that's that's kind of exactly where I was. Where I was like, I don't know, but no, it is it is really cool that she's uh, she's super into it. Ow! Oh, bro. Also, the other thing about Emerald, I do not have a copy of Emerald. Um, I was borrowing my friends for a while there. Um, 
just to do Safari Week. But um, he, I gave it back to him because he wanted to play it. It's his game. And then he moved. <laughs> he, he only lives an hour away, so I can still visit him pretty regularly. Yeah, uh, the game shop, the game shop that sells uh, like retro games near me, they sell like buy red, leaf green are like ninety. Um, set, uh, silver, gold, and crystal. Well, silver and gold are like forty to sixty. Crystals like eighty. Um, yeah, buy red, leaf green are ninety. Ruby sapphire. Sometimes they're like ninety. Sometimes they're one twenty five. Uh, but then sapphire is like one seventy five to two hundred. Or emerald is like 175 to 200 most of the time, which is just. Fortunate Crystal is the only hard copy. Oh, dang. Um, so honestly, Archer, um, I mean, I, I owe you right now, but so if ever you wanted and like they call me because I'm on their call list when they get those games, if ever you wanted, I could totally be like, hey, they have this like Sapphire, Ruby, Fire Red, Leaf Green there for like I said, like they're usually anywhere from eighty to one hundred twenty-five dollars. I can let you know and let you know the price, and we can definitely work something out. If you, if you wanted me to like ship it your way or something, like just because I can't afford to get it at the time, like I I could definitely for the for those who I I know more personally and am like actually closer to and don't think you're gonna show up at my house and stab me. Um, I can absolutely do that. I I passed up the sapphire and like. If there's such a high demand that I would be very surprised if it was still there. But uh, the next time they call me and I go in there, I will let you know. And uh, when, I'll, I'll just let you know when they call me because they tell me what they have. And as of right now, <laughs> I don't I don't think you would. Because uh, as of right now, I'm really only looking for I want because I have four copies of Ruby and Sapphire. Like I have three Ruby and one Sapphire. I have... A fire red and a leaf green. I would like another fire red and another leaf green. Or, you know, whatever. I want four, at least four, of fire red, leaf green, and whatever combo. Um, And then I want the same with silver and gold. So, like, if I find ruby or sapphire, um, I, I'd absolutely... That, that'd be, like, the first... Ruby, sapphire, emerald would be, like, the first ones. I was like, hey, I don't, I don't need this for anything. And then, like, as I acquire more of my collection, I'd be like, hey, by the way. And they, they get things like, dude, they black and white, too. They get uh, heart, gold, soul, silver. I, I, I'm i totally into that. Like, they, they get some cool stuff. They had Conquest once, but uh, I the, I got paid, like, two days later and went back and it was freaking gone. Oh, yeah. No, they're 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 good people too. They have given, I have given them so much business, and they have like returned in kind. Like they call me when they have equipment I can use. Like I got three hyperkins from them. Like and the hyperkin, honestly, it it is not the best reviewed thing, and I absolutely understand why. There's like a firmware update that you pretty much need, and even then, it doesn't make it. Perfect, and there are things you have to do. I'm I'm finding there are a lot more cooler things than I have been using it for, like like the safe state and the whole like emulation thing. That's actually kind of cool. The fact that I, I uh, if I set it up properly, I can like basically continue to play the save files I have been while playing the cartridges outside of of that, which I just think is actually pretty cool. And uh, in in the future, I do plan to do a very interesting setup where uh. It's kind of heavily inspired by the way Absol Blogs does his reaction or does his shiny hunting, where he's got like his his camera set up on his SPs. Uh, I really want. I've, I've been modding my SPs lately. Um, I really want to get them all controller modded. I want one more, and then I'm gonna get a camera set up 
so you can see all four screens. So I can use a controller on that. But then I also, with those four screens, want to set up my six screen, like capture card setup. So I'll have the six capture card setup synced to one controller, hopefully. And then the four uh, camera setup. So I'll have 10 total screens at a time, but six through capture card. That is my, my eventual plan. And I think once I've I've hit that point of, of that 10 screen setup with the, the four setup on a camera, I will I will be I'll be good as far as like what I want for screens. And I'm really close. I'm I'm very, very close. I actually have to set up my sixth capture card. So like I I, I have plans, but also trying to figure out how I'm gonna manage it all and make it look nice and not like too busy. That's that's also part of my plan. But I definitely have goals for the stream. And like as far as equipment goes, I'm pretty happy with my webcam. Uh, but I do a, a new mic is something I would like to end up getting. My mic is not bad quality, and I feel like as I've understood on how to use my equipment a little bit better over the years, it has sounded much better. But uh, there, there's still I feel like now that you know I've been streaming for five years and I've only upgraded my microphone once. I've upgraded the webcam like four times. I've got more capture cards. Like I've, I've put in a lot into the stream, but it's, there's still a few things I feel like I could make better. And I, I might, the mic is one of them that has kind of been up, upgraded and updated the least. Wowee! I thought this was called Fallout, not Pullout. What? what? <laughs> Wowee! Sorry. <laughs> So, I actually didn't even look. Amazon likes to do weekly episode drops, and I actually prefer that because I feel like it gives you time to digest and have conversations about, like, the things that you're watching. But uh, also, I'm the kind of person that's like, I will consume all of the media. Recently upgraded to an XL XLR mic. Ooh! I want, I see, I, I've been looking into, I think it's like the Elgato mic and also, uh, e either that or the quad quadcast, I think, um, those are two mics that I've heard like pretty good reviews out, uh, pretty good reviews about and like other people that I watch use them and I really enjoy their mic quality. Oh, did I, did I say no? I, did I press B like a doofus? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Whee! Still don't know if I have set up properly, but my mic quality is a bit better. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's the one I want to get. That's I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I want to get. I have heard such good things about that. I'm actually going to look right now because I it's on it's in my, uh, my thing. My like saved list or whatever. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. 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 No, that's actually hilarious. Yeah, I, I just... Oh, that looks cool. Did 
Dude, that was me. So right now I'm using a Yeti. Uh, and that was me for years. Um, and it, what I didn't realize for the longest time is it, like, I was like, man, I feel like my, my mic should sound so much better than this. Because I have a friend who has the same mic. And when we would talk in Discord, I was like, dude, you sound so crisp and clear. Like, what? And uh, he was like, oh, dude, it's it's my uh, it's my Yeti. And I was like, I know. I have the same model. I was like, we have the, it's the same exact mic. And he was like, oh. And then, so uh, we, we like video chatted and stuff. And I showed him my setup. And he goes, hey, man, your mic's backwards. <laughs> And uh, then I like I downloaded all the uh, stuff I needed for it, and I have like the whole freaking studio thing for it that kind of helps me. Dude, <laughs> for for like a year and a half, my mic was backwards. <laughs> so like it would just cut sound sometimes, or like just sound super duper distorted, and I was like, "What is happening?" And it was just backwards. And then uh, I just had it like, I I hadn't set it up properly because I wasn't using. Oh man, that was fucking oh, brutal. But uh, I Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Sorry, my train of thought just gone. That was that escalated so quickly. <laughs> oh, dude, dude, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say really gory. That just like that was jarring. That was jarring. That that was bloody. That that was crazy. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, maybe a little, may, 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 not like gory, but like, I did not expect this at all. This is not where, this is, nope. I mean, this is awesome. I'm having a good time. It feels like I'm watching Fallout. But like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dude. No, sorry. Sorry, man. That, uh... Pfft. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm trying. Like, I'm so bad at not reacting to things. Me, like, me going to a movie theater, I literally have to, like... Especially if, like, I get caught off guard like that. <laughs> you'll just hear me in the theater, like, you'll hear gasps, and then you'll just hear me. Jesus fucking Christ! I yelled one thing during the Godzilla movie, uh, Godzilla and Kong New Empire, and uh, I, I feel like that one was precedented, and I just yelled, this is some show of shit, because it is. That movie is so fun. Okay, this is a little brutal. Oh. Oh.
I heard great things about the Hunger Games prequel. <laughs> yeah, this is gory. <laughs> it's just getting worse. <laughs> it's just getting worse. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Somebody just got fork stabbed in a place where you should not be fork stabbed. And then they are continuing to just. There is murder on a battlefield. It is happening everywhere. Yeah, okay, that's fucked up. Good series, but damn. Jesus. Fuck. I tell you, I did not. I did not anticipate any of this. Oh, come on. Not in the pickles. Okay, so it's not quite the boys, but like, um, so far, it is, like, it's not as visceral, um, but there's definitely, like, people are getting sliced open, or there's a lot of impaling. Um, it, it is significantly bloodier than I anticipated, but the levels of gore are not quite the boys. It's, there, so far, there hasn't been any, like, perverted gore like no no like there's been bodily dismemberment but not to the point where it's any kind of like genitalia Yeah, yeah, I would say it's it's pretty close to Walking Dead. Yeah, I, I would I would say that um, it definitely has Walking Dead vibes. Um, I'll say that the first episode, that's it's good. Like, it's it's brutal, but like, they're going in strong. Like, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. It, I, I'm engaged. But also, this is crazy. Dang. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god, no way. Why is 90% of this cast comedian? So, um, I, I have to say, and, and like, I feel like he, de he deserves it. They, they deserve it. Um, my favorite dev and like creator of all time is concerned ape. I feel like uh, he, he sets the greatest example for, for like what a dev should do. He, he's just too kind, really. Like he spoils us. One point six will come to council soon, and I'll be very, very happy. And we'll continue to be spoiled. And then the haunted chocolate will come out, and we'll be even more spoiled.
Dude, Star Wars fans are eating right now, man. We've got like three movies coming out soon. The Acolytes coming out. Freaking, I'm pumped. I think Taika Waititi is directing a Star Wars movie or, or something of the sort soon. We'll have the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. We'll have the the movie with Rey again. Set a little bit, you know, into the future. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen. It was just her birthday the other day too, Daisy Ridley. Ah, it did, didn't it? 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 Ba 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 ba. Oh, oh, oh! Oh man. Um. Well, last year. Last year we dressed up and just kind of hung out and watched some Star Wars movies. But uh, if they're playing anything in theaters, I'll probably go see it. Ah! Sorry, it's a it's a Ryan George skit. Every time, I, like anyone says Phantom Menace or Darth Maul, I I just like I just end up thinking of uh, the Duel of Fates, and uh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, no, Ryan George, he did, he did, uh, here, I'll just actually post the link to it in the chat. It's not a very long video, but it, it's, it's another one of those videos that I can watch like a million times. I just typed in the word Ryan and it was the first thing that popped up. Yeah, I, I freaking love Ryan George. He's so good. His pitch meetings are hilarious too, but I also really like his personal skits. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a good one. He's got just a whole lot of Star Wars ones, too. But the Game of Thrones ones are pretty hilarious.
I think soon I want to uh, do some fishing too. I, I'm never... I think I've maybe gotten Shiny Carvana in one game ever. I think it was Alpha Sapphire. But I would really like to uh, do some fishing and get it in Original Sapphire. It's my all-time favorite Shiny. I think it would be pretty cool. And I could totally do it on all the consoles pretty easily, I think. Oh man, I hope six actually comes by. Um, six donated. I think it was like March. I think it was right before I went to the hospital. It was like March twenty first. Um, but he he donated for uh, me to get Battlefront, and the payment was like processing for like two weeks, and it finally went through, and I got Battlefront. And I have not played it yet because I'm uh, I'm almost done playing through Nino Kuni and I'm trying to 100% it. And uh, so once I'm done with Nino Kuni, I'm going to go crazy with Battlefront. I cannot wait to play it. Ooh, here we go. Be a shiny sight there because I love you. I still love you. Woo! Who is my Hall of Fame for this one? Oops. Oh, yeah. 
they're all shiny. Nice.
86. The payment went through. So I did get Battlefront. I have not played it yet because I've been playing through Nino Kuni and I want to beat it before I jump into another game. But I have it and I'm very excited to get into it. No, um, it, it was PayPal. Um, it, something happened with my bank and it unregistered itself. And so uh, I just like reconfirmed it and got it set back up yesterday. And then it all worked out, went through as intended. And it shouldn't happen again. So now it will be an immediate thing. If you were to do exclamation stream labs, it should just bam. Should be instant. Which is cool. Because that's the way it was intended, so. Hey, question of the month one. Question of the month time. In honor of the new female casting for Silver Surfer, 19 months. In 1996, one of DC versus Marvel. Who did the Silver Surfer fight? Was it? It wasn't a lantern, wasn't it? Was it? I know if it was a lantern, it wasn't Guy Gardner. But I, I, I want to say, like, if anyone's got, like, a, a power cosmic of a similar stature, it would probably be a lantern. And, like, I don't know. I want to say Norrin Rad one. Even though the female Silver Surfer is Shala Ball. Um, but Silver Surfer is actually my all-time favorite hero. Norrin Rad is a boss. Ooh, Fallout has such good actors in it. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, I love that. Matthew Perry is so freaking amazing. Or Barry? Matthew Barry? Perry? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was it Martian Manhunter? Wait, 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 wait. I 
feel like actually Martian Manhunter would be a good matchup for Surfer. That one got me a little bit, actually. Oh! Oh, dang! That's awesome. I was gonna say, like, I feel like a lantern, just because of their, like, ability to conjure things, would be pretty good against uh, the Herald's Power Cosmic. But he does have the power cosmic, so, like, I don't know. That's, like, he is ex extremely and insanely powerful. Ooh, dude, yeah. Ghost Rider is so dope. He's so powerful. Yeah, I, I just, like, Silver Surfer in his, like, I don't know, he definitely has seen some struggles, and, like, also, he, like, him breaking uh, Galactus's, like, control over him, him, like, just with sheer will. It's pretty freaking sweet. I feel like we'll definitely get it. And, and like, um, with our Silver Surfer, like, um, this is probably going to be Shalabal. And it'll probably be a different universe. Like, it seems like they've already gone ahead and said that with this last um, picture they did of Johnny Storm. Um, it definitely seems like they're going to be in, like, the futurist-style world that Jack Kirby and Stan Lee kind of imagined. Like, the bright utopia. And I've seen a couple of... Uh, like theory and breakdown videos speculating it could be even a universe that we've seen when they did that universal like flash through and multiverse of madness but uh i it's probably going to be we're, we're gonna see that universe die via galactus and it's gonna kind of just warn up warn us of his existence in our multiverse or whatever but uh i do think that there will be a silver surfer norn rad in the 616 universe of the mcu because uh, when all the stuff came out about the actress um, who was playing uh, Shalabal, another actor came out and was like, wait, I thought I was playing the Silver Surfer in MCU. This is weird. And that uh, tweet was deleted. So I still think he is playing the Silver Surfer and it's going to be a multi multiversal thing. Well, that uh, Galactus never showed up in Eternals, but another Eternal did. Um, that was... Uh, the Judge, Erishem. But I think it'll tie in where we'll see, we'll see like a glimpse of it in the Fantastic Four. And then if we get Eternals 2, um, we'll, we'll probably see more about it just from, you know, we, we ha we'll have that court counsel with Erishem seeing, no, that was Erishem, the Judge. And uh, he's taking, it, it was like uh, Cersei and a few other people to, uh, basically see the history of humanity and see, judge them uh, 
for survival. And what I'm guessing is they'll probably be judged guilty. And then Galactus will be sent up for cleanup. But that's just like me theorizing, I guess. Yeah. Well, I, I think what they'll be able to do is with Secret Wars coming up, they'll be able to pick and choose and basically create a whole new toy box out of, like, the best, you know? They'll, they'll probably just pick and choose, like, the things that were the most well-received. But now any any character from any universe can show up in, in what will probably be Battle World. And I think... Uh, I think Deadpool and Wolverine are really going to set the precedence for how crazy things are going to be. I think we're slowly going to start to to hit a reset for the MCU. Where Secret Wars, like, if somebody dies within the battle world of Secret Wars, they're probably just gone. And all the survivors and what is left of that remaining world will probably be what our MCU ends up looking like.
Probably check the eggs a million times in a row.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Knee.
dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate the raid. What's up, Ghoulishly Gengar? Welcome in, Raiders. What were you streaming? I I saw uh, recently you were doing, uh, weren't you doing some Elden Ring? Oh, Bri, what's up? Nice to see you. Um, I don't know if you were doing that today, but uh, I, I've been kind of uh, peeping on the uh, TCG channel as well as uh, I love the, I think you were doing Elden Ring randomizers the other day. Love it, dude. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. I am just uh, hatching for Shiny Scyther because I can't get Scyther in Sapphire or Ruby any other way. So I transferred it and a Dado over from Leaf Green. And I am just uh, going to town. Thank you so much for stopping in and bringing the raid by. I greatly appreciate that. Hey, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Uh, doing as well as I can. Doing pretty good right now, but uh, just spent a pretty good amount of time in the hospital. And uh, that always sucks, but, you know, doing what I can, staying healthy otherwise. I'm just chilling. Yeah, I, I have a stomach disease. Uh, it's like, well, like a stomach syndrome or condition. There's no cure. It's called cyclic vomiting syndrome. And essentially, for like two to three weeks out of the month, every month, I get sick as hell. So for about half of the year, I'm just out of commission. I'm usually in the hospital. Can't really move very well. Like, can't eat anything. Can't drink anything. I'm pretty much just like connected to IVs forever but um so it, it comes and goes I'm trying to manage my diet better and just kind of like do what I can to prevent it as much as I can but regardless uh, it is a permanent thing and it's kind of like a ticking time bomb um so it doesn't really matter what I do at some point in time it is going to hit me uh and it, it kind of varies usually if I don't go to the hospital um to just kind of have a constant intake of fluids. I'm sick for like it, it it's uh, I'm sick for so long. I think my longest time of like being sick not in the hospital was like 25 or 26 days and in the hospital was 18. And uh no, it, it really sucks when you're trying to like stream regularly. Uh, especially like it's just gotten progressively worse over time despite what i've done i mean back two years ago i was streaming six or seven days a week eight to twelve hours every day and uh, now you know i'm streaming like maybe once a week like four or five times a month tops and like i can't do much about it like there's personal life stuff going on too everyone's got that going on but my health man it's it's been the biggest struggle for the past like Almost a day, like almost, oh my god, forever now. Jeez, almost 10 years. But, uh, no, I, I do what I can, you know, and every everyone's got things that they're dealing with, and I just have to find the best way to deal with what I'm dealing with. And, like, I, I was, I kind of kept it to myself for a very long time because it, it feels like anytime somebody starts talking about their medical issues, it just gets, like, dissected and, like, examined under a microscope. And I'm at the point now where, like, it sucks dealing with it alone. I'd rather, like, talk about it and be open about what I'm going through than kind of sit there by myself just kind of wallowing in it, you know? Yeah, I, yeah, and I, I've, I've seen um, your, your posts about your surgeries as well, and I, I wish you the best, like, best possible recovery that you can. Um, it, as far as like it, with, with everything going on, uh, and I hope that you are feeling well. I know definitely that stuff can suck. I, I can't imagine. I've only had a couple surgeries before, but, uh, I, I cannot imagine. And I hope that you are, you are doing well because yeah, honestly, and I've seen some of your posts and I, I feel very, very similar ways. 
and it can oftentimes like with, with the thing that we do you know when when you start to slip in consistency the algorithm's like oh see you later and you're just like uh buddy and so we do what we can you know with with what we've got and uh just know that i think your content is amazing and uh i i think it's awesome that you're doing what you're doing despite everything you've got going on and like we're all out here doing our best so the raid is greatly appreciated and no it's so for me like there there's no like worse like it's all perspective like I, I definitely I definitely know what it's like to be out of commission in, in all kinds of ways, but I can't imagine the kind of pain that other people have to go through, you know, like most of the time, the thing that kind of sucks about what, what happens is uh, I get so out of it and just like delirious time kind of blinks by and like it feels like everyone is growing around me while I'm just kind of like mentally stuck. Like I, I like... Hey, thank you. Thank you, Way. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, no, it definitely can be. And I, I'm i pretty bad about it myself. I actually have like 21 edits on my phone that I totally could probably be doing from the hospital and just need to get better about it. As well as just like posting more on socials. I used to like post pretty much daily or even like every other day or weekly on Instagram and stuff like that. Now I don't even do that. It's a lot of things that I feel like I can do better myself uh, that I really need to work on on top of that. Like, I, I can't just blame my, my health. It definitely has to do with uh, with my drive a little bit, too. And I just need to get back on the horse. You know what they say when uh, when you fall off the horse, you just got to get back up and eat that horse. Streaming, working out and hanging with friends is a few things that keep me sane. Oh, I feel that, dude. I feel that. My, uh... I mean, I, I have a really good time spending time with my family. That actually kind of helps a lot. Um, like the people closest to me who I'm pretty much with 90% of the time. But uh, for me, man, Magic the Gathering is like, oh, dude, it is just the biggest stress relief. I, I could get I could get decimated. I could I could lose like five games in a row and I would just still be ecstatic because I'm, I'm getting to play one of my favorite games. Yeah. Yeah, when, when when life knocks you off the horse, you, you just got to get back up and eat the horse. I've learned that physical and mental health absolutely go hand in hand, so it can be extremely tough to stay motivated when life like Yeah, absolutely. And no, I, I I have to say thank you a lot to to the peers and to the to even like viewers and people that I've met while content creating, because like if it weren't for those people, you know, I would just be shiny hunting in my spare time and not doing it on stream like I wouldn't. I wouldn't push myself to want to do this as often as I do if it weren't for the people that make me like feel good about doing this and like being part of the community. Isn't there a cool uh, MTG thing going on right now? I don't know. Um, maybe there might be something in arena. Um, but I don't know. Sponsor me, arena. I don't play you, but I will if you sponsor me. I, I play I play magic cards with, with the cards because like I don't want to have to rebuild my decks, but I'll do it if you sponsor me. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll play I'll play standard. I play like modern, very very casual modern. Dude, no, honestly, I like I'll give you guys all the codes and 
dude arena i i will put your ad in all of my videos it is arena if you want to play real good on this hundred card singleton oh gladiator my ass they're putting oh gladiator i wonder what the difference is gladiator event because uh i mean that sounds like commander that sounds like edh 100 100 card but if it's 100 card no commander and it's just like that's the deck does that oh i gotta look into this gladiator thing because if it's like 100 card but you can throw play sets in there that would be kind of fucked actually that'd be crazy i really want to get into popper my freaking i went over to my brother's house he just uh moved near me from kind of far away um and i so i went over to his new place and we played popper he let me borrow a deck and uh popper's crazy they had like top tier popper decks and uh dude they were nuts like i was playing like one to two drop blue combos and basically using like blue affinity but with instants and sorceries in the graveyard and just casting five fives and six sixes for one and two really fun decks like really really fun decks and i went up against something that they called terror and it dude it was so or no i was playing terror they're playing void or something it was crazy i had so much fun oh the one piece card game i don't know much about it but it does look really cool i freaking love uh training card games I used to play a quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, I haven't played in a long time and my deck is very outdated. But uh, every year for my birthday, my buddy Mark gets me uh, updated spellcaster cards so I can like update my deck. And I'm slowly but surely creating like an updated version of my old deck. Also, uh, for anyone curious, the follow series is pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Oh, that's awesome. One day I want to play DC deck building. Oh, that'd be awesome. Oh, I love Ascension. Ascension is so fun. That that same brother I'm talking about, he taught me how to play Ascension. That's the one where you have like like the gems that are kind of like your your points and you get more. Oh man. That's awesome. I love that. Man, I haven't played Ascension in a minute, too. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Ah! I love when they do, like, crossover sets like that. Like, actually, my favorite board game uh, is Talisman. And one of the things I think is really cool about Talisman is it has, like, different variations of the base board game. Um, and I guess, like, other things, Monopoly does that even. But um, there's a post-apocalyptic, like, sci-fi one. And there's also a Kingdom Hearts one. And I just think that's freaking sweet. I love Kingdom Hearts. And Talisman is my favorite board game. And, like, I would love to get the base board uh, Kingdom Hearts thing. But, like, there are expansions for Talisman, and I wonder how, like, they would kind of, like, if they're cross-compatible by any means. I feel like they wouldn't be. But, like, if, if it's the same game, but with Kingdom Hearts characters, and, like, they just have new abilities, but, that, like, everything else works the same, I might get it just to, like, combine it with my base board game and then have, like, all of the stuff. Throw some Kingdom Hearts in there, dude. I have two board expansions for it. I need more. 
Oh my gosh. That'd be awesome. I would absolutely love that. Oh, yeah. Dude, okay, they're starting to really mess with me. I don't know if it's like my eyes. Ugh. But uh, they're, they're actually starting to mess with me. Yeah, uh, this Fallout series goes pretty strong, I would say, like, there has not really been a dull moment, but the pacing is pretty good. Things are coming together, but, like, not in a way that feels rushed. That's awesome. Dude, yeah, no, I like this. There was going to be one complaint that I had, and they literally just addressed it. Oh, dude, I love that. I love that. Dude, oh my god! That was my... It's like they just read my mind. The thing I was literally, like, thinking of, like, well, that could actually be a little bit better. They, they, they addressed it. They did it. Good, good writing. I feel like if a show addresses your complaint by the time you have to make the complaint, that's perfect. Like, that's them covering their bases. Y you're curious about the story and it answers the story right around the time you're curious about it. That is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> oh, my God.
I cannot wait for my birthday tattoo. It's uh it'll be May 21st is the day I'm getting the tattoo done. And all of this, all of this will be covered. It's crazy because like I'll have I'll actually have blank space, I think, near near and above Kozlik for the most part. Because I want pretty much all of this covered. But that's crazy. I'll actually have like a blank space right here. Oh man. It's gonna be crazy. I, I will eventually have both of my arms filled. And uh I have a chest piece drawn out. It just like I know that's gonna be a doozy. And I do want it like to be behind a lot of the things that I'm getting, so it's kinda gonna be last. Just so um it'll be easier to to go behind everything. Because uh, when I get it, I mean, it's going to come up to about here. Uh, and she's going to have large tentacles and tendrils that I do want wrapping around my shoulders and, like, down my arms and chest. So anything else that I get, she's going to be, like, draped behind, basically. But she's also, uh, she's a being that was dragged through the multiverse and through the Aeons by cultic magic. So uh, within her tendrils... I want other various objects that travel the multiverse. Like, I, I would like a TARDIS. Or anything that travels through space and time, really. Uh, or or has the power to grant wishes. Like, I wanted to throw the four-star ball in her tentacles. I wanted to throw the ocarina in her tentacles. And, and just stuff like that. So, it's like, on her way from the void to my chest, she just picked up a bunch of mystical implements. I probably won't get the ocarina, actually, thinking about it, since I already have it tattooed on my hand. I have the ocarina, and by extension, the Triforce, because it's on the ocarina. And I also have all three symbols of the goddess on me. Uh, I, I am imbued with the power of the Triforce. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I did not realize how inappropriate it sounded until I almost said it. <laughs>
Oh, dude. They posted it. The sapphire is still there. I'm, I'd have to call, I guess, before I went to double check, but don't close till seven and I'm leaving at six. I uh, here, let me call them real quick. If they have it, do you want it? Nope, it got got an hour ago. An hour ago, I got it. But they'll call me again. I'm still on the call list. No, dude, I figured. But uh, I actually, it's kind of cool that I didn't know they uploaded pictures of it when they got stuff so that's that's good to know i can kind of keep my eye on that but they'll still call me they'll call me as soon as i get it in but it's nice to know i can i can visually see it too you guys have playstation 2s i would like that i'm not seeing anything but i, I want a playstation 2 so i can play my favorite game my favorite PlayStation 2 game. Which is Dirge of Cerberus. Oh, and dude, speaking of Dirge of Cerberus, I'm so, I'm so happy. Uh, Matt Mercer, Matthew freaking Mercer is going to be the voice of Vincent Valentine. Yo! Hello! Dude, same. I, I'm watching X-Men 97, and uh, Sebastian, Su Ugh, Sebastian Shaw is Travis Willingham. And I was like, oh! What the hell? <laughs> it's so trippy. Especially, like, hearing him not be Grog. Because I've just been listening to so much of uh, Campaign 1 lately. Hope you're doing well, Tokyo. Listen to I Whoop. Uh, dude, I feel you. But I'm just, I'm just such a sucker for absorbing media. Don't know what's wrong with me. 
Dude, same. Oh my gosh, that is so trippy. Yeah, when she's in... Oh my gosh. I think about that all the time. It, it, that is like so crazy that she's in the in the Avengers. Just as like a person. She's just chilling. She's like a news reporter, I think, even. She gets saved by Cap. I feel that. I love that too. One thing uh, I'm excited for. So like I want to meet them at a con. I really would love to. Um, but I don't I don't travel too far outside of like my local areas for cons. But this year I'm, I'm going at least a couple hours away. Um, because uh, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a Trekkie. And uh, I really like Voyager. And uh, I there's a con not too crazy far from me that's uh, going to have a few people from Voyager there. And I'm super freaking pumped. And uh, I'm, I wanted to dress up as Beast Boy and the Goblin King this year. Uh, but I might have to just, you know, I might have to be a Trekkie for, for a con. Like... If I'm going to get autographs and pictures from actors that play characters in Star Trek, I feel like I should probably dress the part. Like, and one in specifically that I, I know I'm going to uh, meet and see is uh, Tim Russ, uh, Tuvok. He was in Spaceballs too, and I just have to. Oh, she canceled. Dang it. Oh, that'd be nuts. That'd be so cool. Is Quaxley? Yes, Quaxley is noticeable. Um, I did not know what Quaxley looked like at all. Um, I was the first person in the world to get Shiny Quaxley uh, recorded. And uploaded on stream. Uh, which was, you know, probably my crowned achievement for my channel. Um, but no, Quaxley is very noticeable. I, I'd say uh, Sprigatito is the least noticeable and it's still very noticeable. Nice. Good luck.
That's fair. Yeah, see, I... I had the same argument with myself just recently, and, like... See, I don't know. I, uh... I actually traded in my advance for a new SP so I could replace the screen with the IPS and then get a new shell. Um, but honestly, I, I think the advance is nicer because it's more compact. And if you were to get like an IPS like screen with a backlight, it would look great. Like I, I, I feel like I like the compact without the flip screen. I think the, the flip of the SP, it's kind of, it's kind of scary kind of dangerous and like I, I i don't have a lot of experience like reshelling or taking apart a game boy advance but just looking at the videos uh, it seems a lot less daunting Oh, this is National Pet Day. I gotta go hug all my cats. What's good? Also, are you breeding the most efficient way for Gen 3? It looks like you're playing a Sapphire. I don't think you can use Flame Body. Uh, well, I, I'm just, uh, I know, I know there are ways to do it faster. I, I know there's all kinds of the palm egg glitch, and I just want to shiny hunt the way, you know, I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way. I don't need to do it any faster. I do think Flame Body works in Gen, uh, in Ruby and Sapphire. I do have a Flame Body here. So regardless, uh, thanks, but no thanks. One of the most annoying thing is, uh, is when people come in here and like, oh, you should be doing it this way or you could be doing it this way. It's like, okay, well, thank you for assuming I don't know that. And, you know, I, I would just like to hunt it the way I'm hunting it. It's that, and, like, if anyone ever asks me advice, and then I give them advice, and they disregard it completely, at that point, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs>
Like, in theory, I could have also set this up on four consoles, and I just didn't want to. So, like, there are a lot of ways I could probably make this faster. Yeah, like, like, I don't know, I just, it'll take as long as it takes, I guess. Appreciate you all for hanging out. Yeah, see, like, I'm, I don't know, I, I know there are so many different ways that you can shiny hunt, I just, like, I don't know, I don't really, I don't really mess with my save files, I, you know, I don't, I don't really do any glitches or exploits, and there's nothing wrong with doing any of those things, I just, like, I don't know if anything, I just don't care too much, like, I call it lazy, I guess, but. I, I just don't see the need to go out of my way to, to try to speed things up just by, you know, a smaller margin or maybe even a con more considerable margin, but I'm just doing it the old fashioned way. You know, if I wanted it to go as fast as physically possible, I'd just get an emulator and like do the speed up times, whatever. I will be back tomorrow. I'll probably be streaming for about one more hour, but I will be back tomorrow. Maybe only 30 minutes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, I, I've done that, too, um, for, for the sake of getting um, the shiny ditto in, in Gen 2 for the sake of that. So there, there are there are exceptions, I guess. But um. I don't know. I, I feel like that one is it's it's like an exploit in mechanics so much. Like it's it's not as much of a glitch as it is an exploit. So I guess me saying I, I wouldn't do exploits isn't entirely true. And like I see nothing wrong with doing glitches or exploits to obtain shinies. I it's a totally viable and valid way of doing doing it for the most part. Um and unless it's like one of those things that you're able to like duplicate it and just rake in and a massive abundance of the same thing over and over again. But um the the ditto like the ditto sets you up to do a hunt. If you're setting yourself up to like unlock a hunt, I think that's a, a very different thing than like using an exploit to get um exponential repeats of the same thing.
Oh, whoops. Oops.
So it's even looking like a lot of the ruby and sapphire hunts for eggs making it easier have to do with like an external tool as well as having your internal battery dry. So pretty much just making it like emerald anyway. <laughs> wow, we oh no, my light. Oh, hey. <laughs> womp womp.
Dude, if you also haven't seen X-Men 97, it is amazing. The sequel to the original series, it's so good.
Oops. All right, have a good uh, rest of your day. I will definitely keep you posted about uh, the whole retro game thing. And honestly, if there's any games, any retro games at all that you are interested in looking for, let me know. And uh, I'll keep my eye out for any of them, and I'll just let you know the price. Because, like, I... um. My, my younger sister, Abby, um, I'm going to get a, a Nintendo 64 for her. So, like, they have consoles and stuff, too. Like, they have GameCubes, they have SPs, they have DSs and DSIs. And it is, like, come and go. But, like, I definitely, they're, they're really cool. And, like, I'm local and they put me on a call list all the time. So, uh, I, I have no problem looking for, like, anything. I don't want to try something though. I might wait a little bit. I don't want to mess up a bunch of stuff. But... Ow.
Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what is going on. Right. 